Jason Jackson here with you on the Sun Sports set as the celebration is coming to a close. We continue to recap and relive the experience that got your Miami Heat to the 2012 NBA championship. The next step along the way, of course, the obstacle that has been in the way for LeBron James throughout his career, both in Cleveland and Miami, and has been a part of the Miami Heat playoff experience for some time the Boston Celtics. If there was going to be a trip to the finals, it would be through gang greed. Oh. Steps up for three. That's good. Rondo drive. Oh, there's the fake. Puts it up block by James for three. Mike Miller with a couple of three-pointers. Wade off balance, banks it in. James drives on Garnett, pull up shot, banks it in. The Heat never trail. Miami takes game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. Wade the drive, Haslam jump shot, got it. Dueling out to Ray Allen, an open three, that's good. Tie game, and we go to overtime in game two. Wade the drive to the basket. Rondo puts up a jumper, puts it in. Inside pass to Haslam. Another baseline jumper. James tips it in with the left hand. Wade to James to Haslam, throws it down. Back to Rondo, he's going to try another three. That's good. Wade, nice through the defense, puts it up. It's good. The Heat survive in a thriller. They'll take a 2 0 lead in the Eastern Conference Finals. to Daniels and the finish Ray Allen the clear path throws it down Thomas the drive draws the foul puts it in and one and again Miller wide open and answers again Rondo drives down the lane layup is good Boston Celtics take game three here on their home floor Wade to Battier sets for three it's good Ray Allen nails a three. Nice feed and way to finish. Here's head fake. Gets inside and ties the game. Layup is good. Oh, what a play from Chalmers to James. Open three. Ties the game. Haslam puts it up with the buzzer. Overtime. Rondo flips it up and in. Dumping back up by one. Wade looks up. Head fake. Puts up a three for the win. No good. And the conference final is tied at two games to beat. Here comes the ovation for Bosch. Pass inside to Bosch. And a foul. James puts up a three. Bang. Oh, what a block from Wade. Petrus for three. It's good. Garnett puts it in. Celtics back up by one. Pierce for three. It's good. Paul Pierce from way downtown. And the Boston Celtics win game five and take a 3-2 lead. Again, he right now is at a special zone. James jab steps on Petrus. Now the jump shot. That's been going in all night long. James hits another. James tries again. Nine for ten from the field. James for three. James turnaround jumper drills it. James again. This is the one impressive dominant performance. James flips it up left-handed, banks it in. He's got 45. It's time to head back to Miami. And game seven is tied as we head to the fourth quarter. Ready, bank shot from Rajon Rondo. Bosch for three. That's good. Wade splits the defense and throws it down. He tries again. Left-handed, gets it to go. James on the drive to the rim. Corner of three, rattles it in, drives to the lane. LeBron James throws it down. Miami back up by one. Pierce blocked by Battier. James looking, drives, bank shot. It's good. James fires a three. Bang! Rondo Aliyum knocked away by Boss. Wade hesitation floats it in. The lead is nine. Wade, tough shot, draws the foul, it's good, and one. 
LeBron James and the Heat's dream to the championship still very much alive. The Miami Heat are going back to the NBA Finals. It took them all, but all oh, how sweet it was. The Heat Eastern Conference champions once again, third time in franchise history. This time trailing the series and then coming back and winning it all. And how about LeBron James in that game six? Win or go home. He won and they went home and then they won it all. As I told you, uh, we were able to have one of our great videographers, Keith Haberly, really follow the team from the second that the buzzer sounded. And the championship was clearly the Miami Heat in this arena on Thursday. And he stayed with them all the way through the locker room celebration. So we take you back to Thursday night for the sights and sounds of dreams coming true. Excellence on hardwood, the Miami Heat 2012 championship moments. Another parade down beautiful Biscayne Boulevard. It's over, and Miami wins the NBA title. And a huge congratulations to one triple double man, LeBron James. Right now, man. I mean, we just put our hearts and our souls into this, and man, we, we family, we brothers. And you know, just for, for us to have this success together, man, it's something that nobody can ever take away from us. Right. You're the best, baby. Never do it. You're the best. Okay. This brotherhood, they can't ever take it away from us. Okay. okay? And this little semicircle we're in right now, <laughs> right? Didn't we yeah. say that? Yes. 25 years from yes. now, we're going to be coming back together Peace. in this semicircle and talking about this journey True. we just went on. They cannot so ever take this away. Yeah. I will make one more mark. All the joy of victory right there. And what a great story with Coach Bolstra with his replica Miami Heat Larry O'Brien trophy. We're right on the bottom. It says all in. It's a phrase he used all the time throughout this 
NBA postseason 2012 when speaking about his team, his staff, his organization in trying to grab this championship. Every player signed in, almost like signing a contract of excellence to be all in on this journey to get those 16 wins. It has been an absolute pleasure celebrating this 2012 championship with you here on Sun Sports. It was fantastic to go through the journey, although we had to start a little late, and although we had to play a bunch of games in just a few nights. It was tough, it was hard, but anything worth something is difficult. These players know it, and now you know it as a Heat fan, and it all turns out the way you wanted it to. Coach Riley was the architect the Harrison family put the cash down and the stamp of approval. Coach Spolster and his staff put the plan in place and the players executed to an excellent level. And once again, this organization can hoist the Larry O'Brien Trophy in the air. What a day it was for the Miami Heat and the MVP, LeBron James. It's the best moment, man. It's the best moment of my life, man. That's what it's all about right here. We're in the championship and being able to celebrate with the one that supports you throughout the whole year. And hundreds of thousands of Heat fans were a part of that celebration, which began this morning on Kyocho, swung north on Brickle, on to Biscayne Boulevard, where you could feel the love and the cheering in your chest cavity as Mickey Arison's franchise, led by Chris Bosch, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and their friends were praised and loved by those who were a part of the Heat Nation. We thank all those men and women that were a part of this season's run right now here on the home of the Heat, Sun Sports, your team's champion once again.